Praises in the Tushita Heaven Palace, Chapter Twenty Four, Commentary. This chapter is still spoken in the Tushita Heaven Palace. Shakyamuni Buddha is seen the hall of all jeweled adornments, speaking Dharma for the Great Assembly. He is proclaiming the Avatam Saka Sutra. At that time, there were a great many Bodhisattvas who had come from the ten directions. And in the ten directions, each direction had a bodhisattva leader who spoke verses praising Shakyamuni Buddha. This is chapter twenty-four. The entire title reads "Praises in the Tushita Heaven Palace," chapter twenty-four. Sutra. At that time, because of the Buddha's spiritual power in each of the ten directions, there was a great bodhisattva, each of whom was accompanied by bodhisattvas. As many as does most in ten thousand Buddha scriptures, they were from worlds beyond lands. So the number of does most in ten thousand Buddha scriptures, and they all came to the Buddha's place. Their names were Vara Banner Bodhisattva, Solid Banner Bodhisattva, Courageous Banner Bodhisattva, Bright Light Banner Bodhisattva, Wisdom Banner Bodhisattva, Jewel Banner Bodhisattva. Vigorous Banner Bodhisattva, apart from Filth Banner Bodhisattva, Constellation Banner Bodhisattva, and Dharma Banner Bodhisattva, and the countries from which they came were called Wonderful Jewel World, Wonderful Bliss World, Wonderful Silver World, Wonderful Gold World, Wonderful Money World, Wonderful Vara World, Wonderful Padma World, Wonderful Utpala World. Wonderful Chandana world and wonderful fragrance world. Commentary: The Buddha is in the Tushita Heaven Palace, where he is speaking the Avatam Saka Sutra to the Dharma Assembly, the Great Assembly. And why he is speaking Dharma? He is manifesting all kinds of adornments, all kinds of wonderful characteristics, all kinds of music, all kinds of clouds, and all kinds of flowers. At that time, because of Shakyamuni Buddha's great awesome spiritual power in each of the ten directions, there was a great Bodhisattva in the east, south, west, and north. The four cardinal directions. There are four Bodhisattvas in the northeast, southeast, southwest, southwest, and northwest. The four intermediary directions. There are also four great Bodhisattvas. Also above and below, there are two bodhisattvas. In each of the ten directions, there is a representative bodhisattva, a leader among the bodhisattvas. There were ten bodhisattvas, each of whom was accompanied by bodhisattvas as many as does most in ten thousand Buddha scriptures. Each bodhisattva has as many bodhisattvas along with him as there are. Numbers of dust moles in ten thousand Buddha lands. There are that many Bodhisattvas all together, and they were from worlds beyond lands. So the number of dust moles in ten thousand Buddha scriptures. They arrived from remote world systems further away than ten thousand Buddha scriptures, and they all came to the Buddha's place. They came to Shakyamuni Buddha's avatar. Avatam Saka Dharma Assembly. They are part of the influential assembly. Their names were Vara Banner Bodhisattva. The Vara Banner is extremely sturdy and tremendously solid. Since this Bodhisattva is like the Vara Banner, he was given that name. There is another Bodhisattva named Solid Banner Bodhisattva. He is not Vara. He is solid. Means that. All of the heavenly demons and those of outside ways are unable to destroy him. Courageous Banner Bodhisattva is constantly vigorous and never rests. He is courageous and vigorous at all times in teaching and transforming living beings. Bright Light Banner Bodhisattva emits a bright light, and within this light there is manifested a jeweled banner. Wisdom Banner Bodhisattva has wisdom which is extremely high. Like a jeweled banner, and so he is called Wisdom Banner Bodhisattva. There is also Jeweled Banner Bodhisattva, and then Vigorous Banner Bodhisattva. 
whose body and mind are vigorous throughout the day and night, and there is also a Bodhisattva named apart from filth Bodhisattva. He is without any defilements and is therefore pure. After constellation banner Bodhisattva comes Dharma banner Bodhisattva. This Bodhisattva raises the Dharma banner everywhere and destroys the net of doubt layer by layer. The countries from which they came were called Wonderful Jewel World. This is a country of splendid gems. Wonderful Bliss World is extremely and wonderfully blissful. They came from countries called Wonderful Silver World, Wonderful Gold World, Wonderful Money World, and Wonderful Vara World. They also came from the Wonderful Padma World. Padma is the red lotus flower. These Bodhisattvas came from the red lotus flower world, Wonderful Utpala World. Utpala is the blue lotus flower, and Wonderful Trandana World. Trandana is a rare incense. They also came from the wonderful fragrance world. The bodhisattvas arrived from that many worlds, and they all came from came to the bodhimanda sutra. Each of them had purely cultivated brahma conduct in the presence of the buddhas, specifically inexhaustible banner buddha, wind banner buddha. Liberation Banner Buddha, Awesome Banner Banner Buddha, Bright Mark Banner Buddha, Constant Banner Buddha, Most Supreme Banner Buddha, Comfortable Banner Buddha, Brahma Banner Buddha, and Contemplating Banner Buddha. All of these Bodhisattvas, having arrived at the Buddha's place, bowed at the Buddha's feet, then using the Buddha's spiritual power, They created by transformation wonderful jeweled treasury lion thrones, jeweled nests covered and encircled them, filling every part. All of the multitudes of bodhisattvas, according to the direction from which they came, sat on them in four lotus. Their bodies all emitted hundreds of thousands of millions of nayutas of asam kiyas of pure bright light. This measureless light had arisen from the great vows of the Bodhisattva's pure mind jewel, which is apart from the host of transgressions and evils. Commentary Previously, it was said that each of the Bodhisattvas, no matter which country he was from, came to be part of the influential Dharma assembly, and so they have come to the Buddha's place from walls in the ten directions. Throughout these walls, Of the ten directions, they constantly follow the Buddhas in studying and cultivating the Buddha Dharma. Each of them had purely cultivated Brahma conduct in the presence of the Buddhas. Now, in the Tushita Heaven Dharma Assembly, they all diligently cultivate Brahma conduct. In the past, they constantly cultivated pure Brahma conduct, and so now they are apart from all defiled Dharmas. What were the names of the Buddha's places from which these Bodhisattvas had come? They were specifically Inexhaustible Banner Buddha. Some had come from the Bodhimanda of Inexhaustible Banner Buddha. Some had come from the Bodhimanda of Wind Banner Buddha. Some had come from the Bodhimanda of Liberation Banner Buddha. Some had come from the Bodhimanda of Awesome Banner Banner Buddha. Some had come from the Bodhimanda of Bright Mark Banner Buddha. Some had come from the Bodhimanda of Constant Banner Buddha. Some Bodhisattvas had come from the Bodhimanda of Most Supreme Banner Buddha. Some Bodhisattvas had come from the Bodhimanda of Comfortable Banner Buddha. Some Bodhisattvas had come from the Bodhimanda of Brahma Banner Buddha, and some Bodhisattvas had come from the Bodhimanda of Contemplating Banner Buddha. All, all of these bodhisattvas, having arrived at the Buddha's place, that is before Shakyamuni Buddha, bowed at the Buddha's feet. They reverently made prostrations before the Buddha. Then, using the Buddha's spiritual power, having received Shakyamuni Buddha's great awesome spiritual power, they created by transformation wonderful 
Jordan, Treasury Lion Thrones, each of the Bodhisattvas manifested before himself by transformation a wonderful jeweled lion throne. Jeweled nets covered and encircled them, filling every part. Vicious nets were hoisted up in empty space, encircling the thrones on all sides and filling up all places. All of the mantitos of Bodhisattvas, according to the direction from which they came, sat on them in full lotus. Each Bodhisattva manifested a throne in his own particular direction and then sat upon it in the vara form lotus position. Their bodies all emitted hundreds of thousands of millions of Najutas of Asamhyayas of pure bright light. Each of these Bodhisattvas released pure bright rays of light, uncountable, unfathomable, illimitable in number. And this measureless pure bright light had arisen from the great vows of the Bodhisattva's pure mind jewel, which is apart from the host of transgressions and evils. This light had emerged from the Bodhisattva's pure minds, pure jeweled minds, which were apart from transgressions. This is to say, their minds didn't have any transgressions at all. What are transgressions? They are drawn thoughts of selfishness and seeking self-benefit. They come from your thoughts of not wishing for anyone else to know or see any of your faults. Of your faults, bodhisattvas don't have such thoughts. They don't have thoughts of not wanting anyone to know their faults. Arising from great vows means that the bodhisattvas in the past, while on the causal ground, brought forth all kinds of great vows. It was because these great vows had been produced that now this measureless bright light was emitted. I often say that when I lecture sutras, I don't rely on the aid of commentaries, and so sometimes it's possible that I might explain the meaning of the sutra incorrectly. No matter who you are, if you look at the sutra and see that I have lectured incorrectly, you ought to quickly let me and everyone else know. Don't wait till tomorrow. We don't want to make one mistake and then another mistake. This is very important. Don't make another mistake on top of the first mistake. You're all very polite. When I lecture incorrectly, you don't dare speak out. Perhaps some of you are trying to be polite to your teacher, but I hope that you will not be afraid to speak out. When I say something incorrectly, you should quickly tell me. But of course, I myself hope that I won't speak incorrectly. So, no matter who you are, use your true wisdom and correct me if you happen to think that I have not spoken in accord with principle, and I will definitely receive your correction. Sutra. They displayed all of the Buddha's comfortable, pure dharmas. Using all the Bodhisattva's level and equal power of vows, they were able to universally have and protect all living beings. All in the world were happy to see them, and their seeing was not in vain, so they all became subdued. Commentary They displayed all of the Buddha's comfortable, pure dharmas. Displayed means very clearly manifested. These Bodhisattvas who had come from the ten directions very clearly manifested all Buddha's comfortable and pure dharmas because they wanted to show all living beings how to cultivate them too. If they didn't wish to cause all living beings to also attain these comfortable and pure dharmas, they wouldn't need to manifest them. Why not? Because all Buddhas have already accomplished comfortable and pure dharmas. Bodhisattvas already clearly understand about comfortable and pure dharmas but since living beings have not yet obtained them and do not yet understand what comfortable and pure dharma are, the Buddhas reveal them and the Bodhisattvas also display them. Using all the Bodhisattvas level and equal power of vows, they were able to universally save and protect all living beings. They rely on the Bodhisattvas impartial power of vows made in the past to rescue all living beings alike. Bodhisattvas are not selective and do not make discriminations in saving and protecting all living beings. 
If any living being encounters treachery or difficulty, the Bodhisattva comes and uses his compassionate hand and vows to rescue and save this living being. Only the world will happy to see them. Living beings in the world like to see the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, and their seeing was not in vain. Whoever sees the Buddha plants good roots of Bodhi, so he says, their seeing was not in vain. So they all become became subdued. All the obstinate living beings who are hard to regulate and hard to subdue became subdued. Sutra, these multitudes of bodhisattvas had already accomplished measureless merit and virtue, which is to say, they could pervasively roam throughout all Buddha's countries without obstruction. They could see the pure Dharma body, which was without reliance. By means of the wisdom body, they manifested measureless bodies. They pervaded the ten directions to serve all Buddhas and enter into all Buddhas' measureless, boundless, inconceivable dharmas of self-mastery. They dwelt in measureless doors of all wisdom. With the bright light of wisdom, they understood well all dharmas. In the midst of all dharmas, they attained fearlessness and accordingly proclaimed the dharma with unending eloquence to the exhaustion to of the boundaries of the future. By means of great wisdom, they opened Dharani doors. Commentary These multitudes of Bodhisattvas, these great Bodhisattvas who came together from the ten directions, had already accomplished measureless merit and virtue. They have perfected innumerable merit and virtue. They are pleased that all living beings can also attain and accomplish measureless merit and virtue, which is to say, they could pervasively roam throughout all Buddha's countries without obstruction. They have attained measureless merit and virtue, which enables them to pervasively roam throughout all Buddha's countries without obstruction. They could see the pure Dharma body which was without reliance. The Dharma body has no place of reliance. It is not present and is not absent. The pure Dharma body, Varutrana Buddha, pervades all places. Since it pervades all places, it doesn't have to rely on anything. And because it doesn't rely on anything, it's called the pure Dharma body. By means of the wisdom body, they manifested measureless bodies. They use the substance and nature of wisdom to manifest measureless bodies. They pervaded the ten directions to serve all Buddhas. They travel comfortably to absolutely everywhere to serve all Buddhas. They have this kind of merit and virtue, and they entered into all Buddhas' measureless, boundless, inconceivable dramas of self-mastery. They also are able to deeply enter all Buddhas' measureless, boundless, inconceivable, comfortable dramas. These are free and easy dharmas. Moreover, they dwelt in measureless doors of all wisdom. And with the bright light of wisdom, they understood well all dharmas by means of the bright light of wisdom. They are able to clearly understand all dharmas. In the midst of all dharmas, they attained fearlessness. They are able to speak the dharma without trepidation. They can skillfully speak all dharmas without fear, and they accordingly proclaimed the dharma. They speak and lecture dharmas to all who come with unending eloquence to the exhaustion of the boundaries of the future. To the exhaustion of the future ages, they explain the dharma, and their eloquence is clearer and clear, clearer and expedient and inexhaustible. By means of great wisdom, they opened Dharani doors. Using their greatest amounts of wisdom, they opened up and explained the Dharani Dharma doors, the doors of uniting and holding.